all right uh, we are on 1688 now on this page i want to explain to you how to get the detail about the product you are about to order so it is very good to check the detail then from the detail you'll be able to calculate the landing cost how much is going to uh, send uh, ship the goods from china to nigeria so either you are sending only one piece of this product or you are sending three you are sending or you are sending five you are sending as much as you want so before you purchase any products you want to send via sea shipping it is very advisable to come here to come to this page on 1688 to check the detail the uh the uh cbm the size of the goods uh, the, the product from the seller's uh, uh platform so <clears throat> you come you open the sellers the, the sellers link then what you do is what you want to do now is you want to know the cbm of that product for a single product so if you have if you are buying like five of it then you know how much you are going to pay for five so to do that you must know the cbm the, the size of that product as shown in the video the the the, 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 the calculation i showed you this, this video that is uh, x times y times z so you need to know that cbm then you now convert it then you now calculate it to know how much you are going to pay so for you to get to the detail of this seller what you do is you just scroll up a little bit so can you see if you scroll up before i scroll up just check here uh check here just focus here focus here very well so as i'm scrolling now you see something something will happen so i scroll up now I scroll up as you can see. Sorry, can you see now? Something happens here. This thing, this thing come up here as you can see. So then you now click on it. As you can see, then you'll be navigated to the detail page. Then you scroll down the page, you see more pictures, the size of the product, the actual size of the product, then the carton size. So they are different between size of the product and carton size. So for you to calculate CBM, you are going to use carton size not cb not not uh, not a uh, product size because you know you are not going to pay for the product size because they will have carton another the day then that one we had a little to the cbm so now i'm scrolling down i'm still scrolling down you see more about the product so you see more picture this is the product this is the product size as you can see here so yeah we, we are not going to use this size so you scroll down then you see the detail as you can see here you see these details here can you see now so the detail end is 14 uh, 4.2 kg for a single product 4.2 kg for a single product then one product size is 315 mm 215 mm and 440 mm convert this uh, this mm to cm so what you do is what you do is just put simply put uh, 315 that is 31.5 multiplied by 21.5 multiplied by 44 centimeter so to convert it back to centimeter you need to just put uh, the point there that is 331.5 centimeter 21.5 centimeter then 44 centimeter but if it is millimeter like this you are going to calculate it your calculation is going to be wrong so you need to convert it back to centimeter so that is 31.5 centimeter as again 0 and 15 millimeter so by converting it back that means you are getting centimeter of this size so now that is it then let's calculate how to get the landing cost for this particular product all right now we are on this page now this is as we calculated as we shown uh, uh, from 1688 this is what we got from 1688 so we got 14 kg then the size of the carton is 0. 
0 0.15 then 0 0.1 uh, sorry we get uh, 0 31.5 c centimeter to 21.5 centimeter and then uh, 40 44 centimeter so we took it back to centimeter that's what we did in the video we, we, uh, we show, I, I played I, I showed you the last time so before we get to this page so now we are on this page now so let's calculate so we need to take this back to centimeter as I said that is 31.5 centimeter then 21.5 centimeter then 44 centimeter so if you multiply it 31.5 multiplied by 21.5 multiplied by 44 that is 29,799 multiplied by 1 million that is the other 1 million is constant you can be imagine how we arrive at 1 million that is constant so i don't know i don't want to go into that level just make it constant so although in this video uh, in this course i'm still going to show you an app an application whereby you don't need, don't need to calculate just put the centimeter inside the uh, app then you will get the cpm automatically so that's what is do what you do then is the, the in this video in this page now we got 0 0.03 cbm for this particular product and if you if one cbm is 250,000 naira then 0 0.03 multiplied by 250 that is 7500 per one of this product let's assume you want to send this product via air shipping and the, you are using kg not cbm that means and one kg as the time we are doing this video is 1500 naira so now 14 uh, 4.5 4.2 kg multiplied by 6,005 that is 27,300 wow so you are getting 24,000 naira as against 7,005 through hair shipping as you can see now sending your goods via ship via uh, sea shipping is cost efficient pocket friendly compared to air shipping so that is how you share your 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 shipping fee as that's how you calculate your landing call before you even you even purchase your goods what you do is you open the product link on 1688 when you open the product link on 1688 then you swipe to the left or you click on the detail above the page then you scroll down you check the specification of the product so then from there then you can um you can you can see something like a uh, carton on the page on the details page you can see something like the carton at the back of the carton they will write this detail they will write something like this uh sorry they will write this detail this detail there they will write it at the back of the carton even if you go to market if you buy anything from china look at the back of the carton what i do is if i go to any shop any supermarket any shop any maybe i go to lagos island i go i see any product there what I will do is be ah, I like this product, I like importing this product from China. What I will do now is just look at the back of the carton. I will snap the CB the, the, the size. So once I reach home, then I do my calculation if it is possible that I can purchase that. So if you go to anywhere, if you buy anything from market, if you buy anything from China, or you have any carton at home, just check the back, you will see this thing there. You see this thing there so they are always at the at the back of the carton so then you just, you just use the calculation we do here to know how much you are going to pay for the shipping fees so that is how you calculate your landing cost before you even place your order but if you couldn't find maybe you check the the details page of 1688 uh, and unfortunately you uh, you can't find it there so what you do is you go ahead and ask the seller about the detail the size the size but mind you if you are asking the seller or you check this on city make sure you you need to confirm maybe the size here is for one carton or one pieces the carton here the carton size here is it for one pieces or is it for one piece or one carton 
because sometimes they will give you the carton size not one piece cart, uh, size so let's assume this one is uh, is one carton size and is a car in, inside one carton they, we have four pieces of it inside carton that means you are still going to divide you are still going to divide this 7005 by four so to give you how much you are going to pay per one i think this calculation is very clear enough then you now go ahead to go and practicalize and uh, and implement it when you are ordering goods from china so don't just order blindly and uh, and uh, shifting blame on your shipping agent that the shipping is, is too much so you need to calculate your you need to have you need to do your calculation do your math very well before you place order so thank you very much we we'll meet you in the next video.